Resident Evil Village may star Ethan Winters, but before this father's difficult nightmare through hell, there was another story that players could experience. A young maiden who died before the events of the core game. And although her life ended, it's important to remember her story. She was one of many victims of House Demetrescu that Ethan would avenge. This is the story of the maiden. The Maiden was a PS5 exclusive demo released to promote Resident Evil Village. It starred a young woman trying to escape the castle after being thrown in a dungeon. A lone letter from a previous survivor being her only hope to escape explains the way out is through a ladder. Other victims littered the floor with their bodies being prepared for processing, but the only way out is locked. Using Resident Evil player's oldest friend, the bolt cutters, the maiden locates a lockpick inside a locked room deep in a bucket of blood, also finding more victims tied up onto the ceiling. We also find a note with four other victims on it, Irina, Valina, Lois, and Ingrid. Given Ingrid is the only one with a unique description, calling her unstable, we can assume we are controlling her. Hearing monsters knock on the boarded walls, she makes her way out of the wine cellar with one of the cast housing a dead male inside. This is because males were drained and processed and we can see that Alcina and her daughters were just sitting down to dinner as the plates are full of human meat. Finding her way out, the maiden finds a very old note from 1958, noting that those thrown in the dungeon after displeasing the lords of the castle were never seen. With the writer afraid for her life after she opened the window sending cold air into the room after the daughters complained about it being too hot. Fearing for her life, the letter ends with her frantically wondering what to do before she is thrown in the dungeon. Climbing the ladder and leaving the dungeon, we find the maiden's necklace, confirming she was taken from the village and thrown in the dungeon. Navigating the halls, we get a glimpse of Lord Alcina and find the maiden's clothes burning in the fireplace, meaning she was recently tossed down there. We also hear the daughter laugh in the distance, but we don't know who this is and we enter the dining room. Finding a maroon ring, the maiden detaches the eye and heads upstairs, avoiding one of the daughters. Using the eye, the maiden enters a wine storage area and gets the courtyard key. Heading back down into the main room, Bella shouts that she's watching her and attacks. The maiden flees to the dining room, the open windows flooding cold air into the room, and unlocks the courtyard door only for Alcina to appear, killing the young maiden. But this is now where the story ends. Ingrid was one of the servants of the castle. All the servants are women and the men are drained and eaten by Alcina and her daughters according to the concept art provided to players who completed the game and unlocked the feature. According to the found documents, the other victims were Lois, Irina, and Melina who had robust appetites indicating they were turned quickly. Ingrid was shown to be unstable and most likely resisted the transformation. Unfortunately, she couldn't escape, as we find later when Ethan enters the dungeon and kills a bunch of the victims, one of them is wearing Ingrid's necklace, indicating that that is now Ingrid. And it confirms that she was transformed and left in the dungeon to guard it, with Ethan ending her suffering along with the other servants and eventually avenging them by destroying House Demetrius. So that's the story of Ingrid, the one of many maidens who were turned into these horrible servants to serve under House Demetrius. Ethan indirectly was able to avenge their deaths and kill the vampires, ensuring that they can rest easy. However, once you leave the castle, you find out without Al Alcina, the victims would simply wander around, even leaving to the village and attacking any survivors they found. Regardless, it's a horrible fate for someone who just tried their best to serve people they thought would protect them, but in reality, they just used them for their own personal need. So, I hope you liked this video. Leave a like, subscribe, check out my other Resident Evil content, and I'll see you all next time. Stay awesome, everyone.